In this exercise, I'll show you how to place a couple of images into an InDesign document. I'll also introduce you to the Links panel. I'm working inside of a document called OpenSpace.INDD, found inside the Exercise Files folder. Notice that I'm working on page 3 of this document, which has some room left open for a couple of graphics. Anytime that you want to place text or graphics into a document, you go up to the File menu and you choose the Place command. I want you to notice this keyboard shortcut. It's Control D or Command D on the Mac. Now D doesn't really stand for anything, but it is used consistently for both the place command and the related links panel, as we'll see. I'm going to click on the place command to bring up the place dialog box, and I'm going to click on a couple of graphics here. First I'll select colorimeter.psd, and then I'll control click, or on the Macintosh side, I would command click on monitor.psd to select both those files independently of any of the other files inside the list. Notice that these are both layered Photoshop files, hence the extension PSD. But where images are concerned, they could just as easily be JPEG files, TIFF files, and so on. I'll click Open in order to import both of these images. Notice the appearance of my cursor. First of all, it appears as a paintbrush, which indicates that I'm about to place a photographic image. I can also see a preview of the image that I'm about to place. And I see a 2 inside parentheses, which shows me that I have two images loaded and ready to go. I can switch between those images by pressing an arrow key. Notice that. That'll take me between those two image files, and I can see a little preview, which is very handy. I'm going to click in order to set the location of my first image, and then I'll click again in order to set the location of my second image. Then you can drag the images as desired to place them exactly where you want them. And you can even nudge them from the keyboard. I'm pressing the up arrow key a few times in a row to move this monitor image upward. Then I'll click on the other image and I'll press shift left arrow to nudge the image by a larger increment. And I'll press shift up arrow as well. Then I'll press the left arrow key a few times to get it exactly where I want it. Once you're done placing your images, you can manage them from the links panel. I'm going to this little chain icon over here on the right side of the screen and click on it to bring up the links panel. I could also go to the window menu and choose the links command. And notice there's that keyboard shortcut I was alluding to earlier. Control Shift D on a PC or Command Shift D on a Mac. And notice there are my images, colorimeter.psd and monitor.psd, both of which are located on page three as you can see here in these links. I can also hover over the name of my file to see its location on disk. Because InDesign doesn't actually place the file into your document. It links the file so that your document doesn't grow too big. You can also find out other information about the file. Its name, the format, the color mode, the size of the file, and so on. If any of these file names has a warning after it, then we can go ahead and relink the file by clicking on this chain icon down at the bottom of the links panel. You've now seen how to place multiple images and manage those images from the links panel inside InDesign.